just seen is me skiing in California in one of the best resorts in the world that is the North Star California and uh, I wanted to share in this video how could you learn skiing how did I learn skiing in India so yeah I didn't learn after coming to US but I learned it in India so I learned it at Gulmarg so I'll share where did I learn how did I learn how much did I cost and all these in this video so stay tuned so if i explain how skiing feels like so it is basically you are sliding on the snow on two skis which are parallel to each other and you have fixed binding boots on top of that which is attached to your feet and that's how you're sliding and it's one of the best feelings in the world because when you start going at high speeds you can just feel the air gushing all over you from top to bottom and it feels so good I just can't explain you have to experience it so mostly it's done on the snow but uh, there are things where people nowadays do it on the grass or there is a version of skiing which is also done on roads which is called skate skis so we'll talk about that later but in this video I'm going to talk about the skiing on the snow so as a kid I always thought skiing is just for the rich so when I used to see this Hollywood movies and people skiing I thought uh, you need to like be in Canada or somewhere in US or somewhere in Austria to be able to experience it but uh, I came to know few years back that uh, you can also do it in Gulmarg so Gulmarg is the only place where I would suggest you to learn skiing the reason being is Gulmarg uh, is the only place in India which has proper ski lifts so you'll see snow a lot of places in India but you'll not get good ski lifts so a ski lift is required to carry you to the top because in skiing you always come down the hill and it's very difficult to climb up the hill with the skis so you need to always have a ski lift and that's the reason Gulmarg is the only place I'll suggest you to go learn skiing otherwise if you go to somewhere else in Himachal or maybe uh, in Ladakh so you'll find the snow but the reason is you'll not find the lifts so you need to carry the skis on top of your shoulder and like walk for miles so that's why I always choose a place where there are ski lifts so if you are interested in knowing how to reach Gulmar I've already made another video so please check that out and then you can come back to this video and I'll talk about the experience of learning skiing so I'll suggest you two ways depending upon your time your budget and if you're traveling alone or you have a group of friends to go with so let's talk about them so guys there are two government institutes that teach you skiing the first one is IISM Indian Institute of Skiing and Mountaineering and the second one is Jim that is Jawaharlal Institute of Mountaineering so both of these institutes are authorized by the government body of India and it comes under Ministry of Tourism so both of them are really good and their prices are really affordable so I personally did from ISM so I will talk about ISM I'm not exactly sure about the course that happens on gym but I guess it's very pretty similar to ISM and uh, the cost and everything related to it are very similar so in this video I'll just talk about ISM and my experience so ISM is one of the most popular skiing institutes of India which was established in 1968 and they have very good faculty, they have a very good established building uh, and it's in the heart of Gulmar and it's quite beautiful to see and also there are very good faculty, the principal is really good. So ISM conducts ski batches so what they do is I think you need to start your registrations around six months before so the course begins in December so it's recommended to start uh, registering for their course 
uh, from June itself because they have a huge waiting list and it's always better to reach them early so you can go on to their website I listed below that is ismgulmarg.in so you can start filling the registration form and uh, once you fill it they would assign you a particular batch so I think they run around four to five batches starting from December to March so each batch runs for 15 days and then after 15 days the next batch comes so yeah even your course would also run for 15 days so they conduct three levels basic intermediate and advanced so in basic they teach you some basic uh, moves like snow plowing and some turns in intermediate they start teaching you parallel turns and in advance they teach you like short parallel turns and how to use like turns with sticks so this is more or less the course you could go into detail by checking out their website but uh, uh, this is more or less about the course and coming to the like course cost so I think ISM charges around 7000 if you are below 25 years and they charge you 14000 if you are about 25 years so the good thing about this is they give you with accommodation and they also provide you the equipment and also give you the food so you are getting for 15 days that's just for 14,000 that is 1000 per day which is I'll say quite cheap in Kulmarg because Kulmarg is a bit expensive uh, you need at least two to three thousand per day if you are living outside so given the cost uh, like it's very cheap if you're doing it from ISM so the one problem which I really used to hate is uh, they never let us use the ski lifts so there are like small ski lifts in uh, ISM but they never let us use it so I mean that wastes a lot of your time because you're just climbing up with the skis and you're already tired which you could have saved so much time by just uh, using the lift but I'm not sure they say that it's risky and also uh, it's okay I mean it's their decision but yeah it would have been better if they let us use the ski lift so uh, I'm not in favor of that because skiing is a sport where you need to learn to use the lift although you may have a few falls but yeah that's how, how you learn so I guess they could have made that yeah so how it goes is so morning you have uh, ski sessions in the morning and afternoon and in the evening they give you some lectures on skiing they show you some videos and they also ask you to like they ask you some questions so there's a evening session and then you have your dinner and then go to sleep and the next day begins so also they have an examination on the last day and they also distribute some prizes uh, based on some competitions so that's something I really like there so uh, at the end you can get a little competitive and uh, you can prove your worth uh, so then coming to private coaching so there are a lot of private instructors in Gulmar so you could either join like a private school so I think there are some groups like Snow Kings uh, and like some other groups Gulmar Ski Riders and there are also like private instructors which you can find on the slope so you can hire them so they charge I think two to three thousand per day uh, and one instructor he stays with a group of three to four people for the whole day and then you can hire him on a per day basis or you can negotiate for a three to four day like uh, package so I don't think so like in ISM they teach you for 15 days but I don't think so you need 15 days to learn um, like skiing I mean you can learn the same thing in 3 to 4 days uh, so 15 days I feel it just wastes your time uh, so uh, I recommend if you have like a lot of time and you can spend a little more I would recommend you to go to the private instructors because they will teach you the same thing but they'll teach you much faster and you can use the ski lifts also so you learn much faster you'll know how to use the lifts 
so yeah and you can learn skiing as i said in three to four days so after that you don't even need the instructor so you can let him go and just practice on your own so but be sure to have a group of people because then you're not bored because skiing is a social sport and it's fun if you have friends so i would recommend uh, going with a few friends that would be much nice so if i wanted to compare between ism and private coaching these would be the pros and cons so i would recommend you to just go through it So guys I think that's all I had to say so if you like this video if this video is really helpful to you just give a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel and share this video to any of your friends who are interested to learn skiing uh, I think this would be a very useful video to all of you all so till then bye bye take care.